Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm here with Carl from the Moon and Da Vinci J15 with the two crypto legends. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a very strange thing where yeah. we're doing this at the same time. <laughs> exactly. But, we're gonna try it. Yeah, stay tuned. It's gonna be crazy. So keep watching. But uh, we're That's trying to figure it three out. Three videos. <laughs> on three amazing channels. Okay, so we are right now at a crypto conference in Dubai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to be speaking all three of us on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people. What's this conference called? Again? Blockchain Life. 2023. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be speaking uh, about trading on stage, and um, that's gonna be fun. Yes, exactly. We always have fun. We're whenever we're together. Exactly. But chemistry now between these two is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's the topic of this video or these videos? Well, I think it's going to be about Bitcoin yes. and cryptocurrencies, and mm -hmm. which cryptocurrencies will make you a thousand X. Dubai right now. Oh, wow. wow, that <laughs> yes. is a that's a bold claim. <laughs> okay, let, let's talk about um, the fact that yeah, but it's true. Like we are at the end of the bear market, mm -hmm. in the beginning of the bull market. So, if people have, let's say, ten thousand dollars, where should they put the money? Let's start with the crypto kid, maybe. Uh, $10,000. Actually, guys, I'm dropping a video soon on how you can diversify $1,000. So make sure to check my channel at CryptoKid. But if you have $10,000 or $1,000, I would always put my money, and this has to be money that you're not afraid to lose, right? So I'd put 50% of it in Bitcoin. But before I do this, I'd first play around with each blockchain, see how they work, right? But when you put your money in there, you're forced to learn. You're, you force yourself to learn more. So I'd first put like maybe $100 in so many different things and just test how things work and then spend time actually learning and then decide what to put but i put my first 50 percent in bitcoin first because that's the og and da vinci would agree i think i think da vinci yeah. would agree but agree there are yes but there are more opportunities out there so let's say you put 50 percent in the bitcoin where should people put the rest of their money well i think you should do the little lady strategy mm. that's the best way to trade crypto and all because then you don't put too much money in one specific asset only one to two percent in a specific asset and you can just wait for half on a double priced in Bitcoin and earn even more Bitcoin. Mm. I agree. I actually tried uh, try your uh, little old lady strategy like when I first started uh, and it's very nice. You have it on your website, right? Exactly. Yeah. You do have a website where you can watch how to do the little old lady strategy. It's at www.vincicode.net slash videos. Yeah. Head over there right it's awesome. There you guys make sure to check it out. Link it in the description below. Yes. We have blue. blue. What What do you got wearing? What are you wearing? Is that so you can copy it again? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm never telling you again what I'm buying. Every single time I buy something, you want to go buy the same. I was going to wear a blue shirt too, but Next I knew this would happen. So. You literally took pictures of my shoes. No way. <laughs> so go buy, buy them. Yes, they, my, my sister said they weren't available. It's like I told you. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. You know what? I'm not going to tell you what this is. <laughs> He's crazy, man. Yeah, man. I was going to wear a blue shirt, but I knew this would happen, so yeah, I Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, what I think, 50% Bitcoin for sure, at least, maybe even more, exactly. 70%. Definitely. Um, and then I actually made a video on my channel with the top 10 layer one blockchains to invest in. And I would suggest you put at least 20, 30% into the top 10 layer ones, because they are unlikely to go to zero. They are unlikely to disappear. They will do well. But then you should take maybe one uh, or... 10, 20% of your portfolio into high risk assets. These things that could go 1000x. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I think you should might want to avoid Solana for the long term. Yeah. <laughs> I highly doubt it's gonna be out it's from no, yesterday, it right? It will go up, it will go up still. Okay. But it's not gonna last for a very long time. What about XRP? Oh, XRP? Man, you know, I'll know I, you know I hate, you know I hate XRP, Yeah, I know, right? that's what I'm asking. But, you know, I don't hate it, don't date it, just trade it. Just shit. Oh, but it's beautiful. <laughs> don't hold on to it for a long time. You guys heard that? Scam. I don't it hate is, it, I don't it date it, I just trade it. Say, oh, I'm going to invest in the Federal Reserve to help support the, the economy. Yeah. But the Federal Reserve is a scam, right? It's the ways for bankers to print money. By the way, I heard something about Solana. And, uh, I'll let you do it. Actually, so oh, Solana is super centralized, what I've heard. Uh, and most of it's owned actually by, uh, like, you know, a government. So of Solana. I, of, like Solana is owned by Solana government. is centralized and yeah. owned by government. This is a rumor that I've heard. I'm not super sure if it's true, but it's just a rumor which you keep in mind. But the network itself is very, very good. So I would definitely do my own research on Solana. Yeah. It's interesting. 
But I think it's super centralized, this is what I think. I think so too, yeah. Yes, it is a little bit centralized, but not as much as you think. I mean, they tried to upgrade uh, on the weekend and they failed to do it in a short amount of time because it's partially decentralized. They have the vote on it to decide what to do next, and that took hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So if people didn't agree, they wouldn't be able to do the upgrade. So yeah. it is partially decentralized, but not fully. It's more federated. Right. Yes. But, uh, by the way, uh, we think we're making three videos, but we're making four videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, <'cause laughs> Phil, Phil is filming as well. Phil. He was. <laughs> You're yeah. making a vlog right now, Bill right? Bill is also I'm doing a vlog. Yeah, he's doing a vlog right now. So we're making four, four videos. videos. Four so videos. Make sure you head over to Phil's channel. No, five, because we're doing that. <laughs> that's on my, my uh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Yeah. Really good, my vlog channel. Mm -hmm. so, so that's going to be an incredible vlog out of this whole mm -hmm. experience. This is so funny. So we're making four videos. Four videos. Mm -hmm. This is like Inception for YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> YouTube Inception. Yeah. Well, guys, I think we should cut it off. Yes. Right? Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for watching. And see the, all different angles. Yep. Right? All yeah. three of our angles. And yeah. uh, also Phil's angle over there. Phil's angle too. Subscribe right now to all three channels and see you guys in the next video. Yeah, see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>